gonna go over three of my favorite tricep builders. Not only for strength, size, but also make them look damn good too. The first one on the list is going to be the close grip bench press. Now this one is definitely meant for strength and size because you can go really heavy with it. It's a compound movement and your chest is working, but the tricep is predominantly taking over because of the adjusted uh, hand grip here. So you're just gonna be sitting on a bench here or laying on a bench in the bench press position like you would normally, but you're gonna be closing your grip in and you're gonna have to adjust accordingly to what makes you feel most comfortable. If you go too close, sometimes that inhibits your movement because you don't really have a lot of mobility in the shoulders, so you can't get the full range of motion. It might have discomfort in there, so you might have to widen your grip just a little bit. But the point is to try to get it as close as possible, and I get about a little bit um, closer than a shoulder grip here. And when you bring that bar down, it's coming a little bit lower than it normally would on a normal bench press there, and your elbows are riding really close, shoulders are still back, and then you're bringing it all the way up to get that nice squeeze in that full extension and contraction of the tricep. Bring it down, nice and slow. You're gonna feel that tension in the tricep. Press and squeeze. Nice squeeze the top, really get that full extension to get that tricep activated correctly. Now an easy way of knowing that it's working correctly is your triceps burn out faster than your chest. If your chest starts feeling more of the tension and more of the exhaustion and fatigue in there, then you know that you need to adjust the grip and you need to adjust the movement and range of motion slightly. Don't go too heavy at first, kind of feel it out because you do want to go nice and slow, get that full range of motion, bring it all the way down and then press the top position, full contraction, full squeeze, you get the full benefit. So it's an excellent tool to bring a lot of strength in your triceps and size. So on to two, number two, here we go. We're gonna adjust the bench over here. A little room in here. Now, we're gonna go on to one that is very well known and used quite a bit. It's gonna be the Skull Crushers. And they're used quite a bit for a reason because they're excellent at building strength and size, but it is in isolation. So it's, you can go heavy on it, but you also need to make sure that you're in the proper position for it too because it's really only utilizing that elbow extension in there. So we're gonna be doing it on the flat uh, bench here, just like we did with the close grip bench but you can adjust different positions too. You can do it in an incline position or you can even do it in a decline position to put stress on different kind of portions or just feel a little bit different there. Um, we're just gonna do flat today to kind of go through it, but pretty simple again. Gonna be in the laying position and we're gonna be using an easy curl bar here. Um, and the position, the hands can change. So you can go a little bit wider as you do the extension or you can close your grip up so it's a bit closer and do the extension here, but I know a lot of people have talked to us in the past and say, you know, my elbow, I have tennis elbow, it hurts. So you kind of have to find the proper positioning sometimes so you feel less stress on the elbow and even the shoulder too. So I'm gonna be doing wide and then switch it up to close, but I'm also going to be showing a slightly different angle. So the standard skull crusher pretty much can be straight down to the forehead and then back up, creating about 90 degree angle the forearm and the upper arm there. Bring it down, slightly touch, or elevate slightly above the forehead and press. But if that's giving you a little bit too much tension in the elbow and you're feeling it too much, you can bring that weight back. So sometimes I even start with the bar on the bench here. You can kind of leave it there and this is the starting position and you can grab the bar, and it's a little bit easier to start this way too. And what you're gonna do is extend from this position and you can send slightly back, just like that. So it's creating a little less kind of kink in the elbow and stress in there. And then you also have a place to kind of touch for that reassurance there in case, you know, it's a little heavy or you need a tiny slight bit break before you extend it in the next rep there. But for me, it creates more tension in this position because you're having to hold it. So if you're in this position, a lot of the stress is off the triceps and you're just kind of in that rested position until you can bring it back down to the forehead. But in this position, even in the full extension, the triceps are have to contract because it's holding that bar and has to stabilize it. And then you're bringing it back down to that bottom position. So that would be my kind of little um, tip or trick in the skull crusher to switch things up to make it a little bit more difficult and have more activation in the tricep too. So, skull crushing, baby. Buff dudes approved. But we got one more. What's the last tricep builder? One that 
is going to be unilateral exercise and utilizing the dumbbell. And this is going to be the French press and single arm. You can do, you can do bilateral too, but we're going to be doing unilateral with the dumbbell. Definitely a favor to really bring a lot of stretch and activation along head of the tricep, which is pretty much predominantly what all these exercises are working because as we know, the long head of the tricep is the larger head and contains a lot of the mass and strength too. So building that up is gonna make that nice bulk look, bring a lot of strength in there. So moving on to any other pressing motions, overhead press, bench press, things of that nature, uh, it's gonna only get you stronger in those areas too. So this last one is gonna be lighter. You're not gonna be going a lot really heavy on this one, but it is working as you can see on that really, that full stretch and you can even see the muscles and feel it too, that full stretch in there. And you can be bring up to the top position, but the top position is not that full extension here. There's a slight bend in the elbow, so that way the triceps constantly activated with that time under tension. And then you bring it up to the top position and even just me holding it there, triceps are exhausted, I can't even hold it. So you're gonna bring it down, feel that full stretch and bring it up just like so. Nice fluid motion right behind the head. And you know, you don't have to have your arm exactly straight up and down. You can have it at a slight angle as long as you're not starting to turn it into a press and the shoulder's activating. This is one thing you have to stay away from is make sure you're just getting that extension in the elbow joint and none in the shoulder. So that way you're isolating that tricep. But you do want to have it nice and fluid motion there. As you can see, full stretch down and then bring it to the top position. So very kind of simple motion. Not really complicated, you just want to hit the back of your head, you want to utilize your shoulders. Uh, like we were saying in any kind of isolation exercise, you're trying to pinpoint one joint, one movement, so that way it helps isolate a certain muscle group. Because as we know, compound movements work multiple joints, multiple muscles, um, and then or isolations are really kind of trying to pinpoint certain areas that you might be weak on or you're really just trying to concentrate on. Um, so there you go three easy tricep movements that are gonna help build strength, size, and create that buff dude physique, baby. There you go. Thanks for joining. See you next time and stay buff.